Hello everyone, it's Steve here at Barwell UK Airbrush Supplies. A customer of ours has sent in two of his Badger 200 airbrushes. This airbrush is the uh, 200NH and I believe at the moment this one is the old style 200. And they are reportedly both blowing air back into the paint cups and so we'll just uh, fit a quick disconnect plug to this connect the air to it and it seems to be blowing air quite nicely and this one is the 200 NH model and just by pressing the air down the bubbling in the cup can be seen clearly um, so I will firstly Remove the needle, which is very difficult. It does look in good condition. My initial reaction is that it could be the needle bearings because these airbrushes are quite old, but we will check the normal things on this that uh, the six holes on this are clear because if one of these holes is blocked it can cause the issue we're having check the tip that does look very very clean so my initial reaction is it could be a needle bearing issue. Uh, we'll just try the other airbrush also. Connect the hose. Again, seems to be the air coming out nicely. And again, exactly the same problem. So I will strip these airbrushes down and uh, have a look at the needle bearings or make sure the needle bearing is in the airbrushes and uh, we'll go from there. Having now allowed the airbrush to soak for a few days in the Badger Spray Through Airbrush Cleaner, uh, as you can see there is quite a lot of debris and dried paint etc come out of the airbrush and I feel quite confident and safe by put, submerging the uh, body of the airbrush into the cleaner as there is no parts in there the uh, needle bearing has been removed uh, the air valve is in a box somewhere safe and all the other parts can be soaked as there's no parts there to be damaged by soaking. I shall now remove these parts from the cleaner, dry them out, I will then blow them off with the airline and uh, get them ready to uh, be reassembled and uh, get the airbrush all fitted up and uh, tested and get it back to the customer. Having now just cleaned off and uh, with a uh, clean tissue, wiped all round and with the airline just blowed all the parts out to make sure everything's clear and none of the holes in the head or the spray regulator or the tip has anything in there. And now we'll continue fitting the airbrush 
together and before I do that I will put the air valve onto the airline and just test that that's going to work and with it connected I just gently push it down and make sure the air is coming out of both holes even let and at, at the pressure so we're confident now that's working so we can refit this and with the badger needle juice uh, I will reassemble this and put the needle juice onto all the parts the air valve I shall just nip up very carefully and very lightly with our padded grips and then start assembling all the rest of the airbrush as always I'm very liberal and like to use a good amount of uh, lubricant especially on these threaded parts because if paint gets onto the threads and that it will dry and lock the um, threads but if it's got the lubricant on that doesn't happen as much or it helps assist it not happening these parts these are the parts that uh, lock the needle in place with this being a single action you have to preset where the needle is required to be so we'll just put these in and again all the parts well lubricated including the needle and on this on the 200 models there's two threaded parts the end part here locks the needle into place and it's only finger tight and then the needle is locked into place and you adjust the needle by undoing this part here which then pulls the needle back to a predetermined place and how much paint you require coming out of the airbrush is how much you pull it back if you screw it all the way out obviously the needle is now all the way back and the holes wide open so as soon as you press the trigger when the air and the paint's connected the that fully amount of paint will be coming out and to make it finer adjustments you screw it in and the needle goes further forward so we will just put on the quick disconnect connect it to the airbrush turn the air on and because I've already got tissue on here I'll just blow it out to get rid of any excess needle juice and even after I've lubricated the airbrush up if it is it's just a normal clean and I've lubricated the airbrush up I will always blow it through with clean water and then just to make sure with a bit of the Badger spray through airbrush cleaner just to make sure there's no uh, excess lubricant inside the airbrush to uh, get in the way of our paints so this is just water that I will spray 
in two. So we just spray the clean water through onto the uh, needle position to check it's all working. And as you can see here, there's lots of water coming out. And everything seems quite fine with that. I shall now just clean off all the excess um, needle juice from around the airbrush, clean it all up as I say and uh, give it one more test just before I send it off to the customer and that's another airbrush all ready to go. Thank you for watching our videos, I hope you do find them helpful and informative. Please leave any comments you may have in the description below and give it a thumbs up if it does help you and subscribe to the channel as that helps the channel to grow and so more people can find these videos easily. Again, thank you for watching.